are several ways to successfully learn to finger pick acoustic guitar. In this video, I'll be giving you what I believe to be the best introduction, since this technique will allow you to more easily transition to more advanced playing down the road, such as Travis picking, or classic guitar playing. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button below so that you'll be sure not to miss upcoming videos on this channel. Also, if you'd like a PDF of the chord progressions and picking patterns used in this video, shoot an email to verygoodguitarlessons at gmail with the title of this video in the subject line. We use numbers to identify specific fingers used on the left hand or fretting hand. So here is my first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. To avoid confusion, when identifying fingers with the right hand or the picking hand, we use letters P, I, M, and A. There is some disagreement as to whether or not these abbreviations come from Latin or Spanish. But in classic guitar technique, Aaron Shearer uses the Latin terms, and that's good enough for me. Never miss an opportunity to put a 15-year-old Latin minor to work. My thumb, or polex in Latin, will from now on be identified as P. My index will be identified as I. My middle finger, or medius, will be identified as M, and my ring finger, or annularis, will be identified as A. The pinky finger is typically not used. My index, middle, and ring fingers are going to be each designated to a single string. My I finger belongs to string 3, my M finger belongs to string 2, and my A finger belongs to string 1. My thumb will play the bass note, or root, of whatever chord I'm playing. So the thumb is the only finger that's allowed to move to different strings and typically will be used on the lower three strings of the guitar. So for example, if I'm playing an A chord with my left hand, my right hand will play P, I, M, A. And the thumb finds itself on string five since my lowest root is on that open fifth string. Moving over to a D chord, I, M, and A stay put, whereas the thumb now moves to the fourth string to play the root of the D chord root on the open fourth string D. P, I, M, A. So again, P, I, M, A, with the root on the open fourth string D. Over to an E chord, again, I, M, and A stay put, and the thumb moves down to the low E on the open sixth string, and we play P, I, M, Now we'll stay on a single chord, A, and repeat the pattern P, I, M, A, and then come back down, M, I. All together and evenly, P, I, M, A, M, I. P, I, M, A, M, I. This is called an arpeggio, which is the general term for playing the notes of a chord one at a time instead of simultaneously. When you feel comfortable evenly looping a single chord, you can try to maintain that pattern through a chord progression. This picking pattern can be used with any chord progression which has three beats per measure. P, I, M, A, M, I should be counted one and two and three and. Here's the chord progression for Amazing Grace. Each letter represents one measure. So let's keep the pattern P, I, M, A, M, I for each chord. Play this slowly since coordinating the pattern evenly is really the most important thing at this point. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two three and one and two and 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 three and Here's the chord progression from Scarborough Fair. And again I can use the same pattern since the song is also in three. One and two and three and one and With 
the song that has two beats per measure, start with this pattern. P-I-M-A counted one and two and. Here's blowing in the wind. One and two and 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 one two and one and two and one and two and. Let it be. One and two and one and two. Now in my most common time signature of 4-4, I can use the same pattern I used in 2. I'm just going to double it. So I'll play the pattern twice for each chord, now counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and P-I-M-A, P-I-M-A, and counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Bass notes played on beats 1 and 3. Now I'll use that picking pattern over the chord progression for Donovan's colors. One and two and three and four and 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 three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and work through these progressions and possibly others every day to make both the right hand vocabulary and coordination more familiar. In the follow-up to this super brief introduction, we'll introduce a few additional patterns as well as other ways to make your acoustic fingerstyle accompaniment more interesting.